Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Akak, Wadash. Double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. All right. Um, real quick, real quick video. Um, this is an article that I, that I came across um, a few minutes ago. It says, the storm is here. All right. Uh, America on the, bl on the brink. All right. It says in early May 2020, uh, well, let's skip that part. Uh, it says, well, this this guy, Luke um, Mogelson, Mog 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 whatever his name is, let's skip that part. It says for years, um, the base, oh, let me see. It says, see, he'd been covering, um, he'd been covering strife and pestilences around the world, all right? And went home to report on the accelerated unraveling of the U.S. So, you know, the thing is, man, it's it can't it's not being hidden anymore. That's that's the point. It's not being hidden anymore. It can't be hidden, right? It's impossible to hide it now because everybody everybody sees it now. And we've been prophesying this through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, really, before anybody else, starting from. Um, you know, the, the, uh, I, I don't really go into them like that, but when, when this truth was brought to us back in the sixties, all right. Um, it was, they, they, they was already prophesying it, man. Right. It was already being prophesied. Right. But let's, let's look at it like this. Since the days, so like it's just the days of Yahweh Shai, this shit right, right that you see right now. Has been prophesied, man. He was he was prophesying about this, man. All right, but for us today's world, you know, since the '60s, this has been being prophesied before, really before anybody else, man. Right. So through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, that's what it is, man. Right. Um. The rest of this article, uh, the rest of it, it says that pandemic is part of what has been has what has driven. Uh, the increasing violence in U.S. politics and society towards a tipping point. Well, this is just that that is part of it. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. That's part of it because the Lord, the Lord is the one that's doing this stuff, man. The Lord said the Lord is the one that prophesied that that told us that that said that this, this stuff was going to happen, man. All right. Um, and he said the storm is here. No, the storm, the real the. The storm is not here yet, man. See, this is what uh, uh, people tend to get mixed up, man. You haven't seen anything yet, man. All right? You see people bugging the fuck out now, man. Y'all ain't, ain't nobody seen nothing right now, man. Right? The, the storm is not here right now, man. Right? The actual, the actual, actual storm is not here. So, enough of this article because, you know, it's a bunch of other stuff on there. I don't feel like going through all that isaiah chapter 13 verse 16 it says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravaged do you know what that do you know what that's saying right there your children being dashed to pieces before your very eyes ain't nobody prepared for that shit you know you got these people out here well man if this happened and i'm going to do this that and the other you ain't going to know what the hell you're going to do man you ain't gonna know what the hell you gonna do when you see a little since the since the daughters are held so high here, man. You ain't gonna know what the hell you do you gonna do when you see your little daughter getting dashed to pieces, man. You know what that means by being dashed to pieces? Anything could happen, man. Being killed, anything, man. Right? You you y'all ain't prepared for nothing, man. Y'all ain't prepared for nothing. I don't care how many of y'all motherfuckers say y'all, man. Y'all ain't prepared for nothing, man. All right. It says that houses shall be spoiled, right? Your houses ain't gonna be good, be no good. It, imagine nine one one, man. Nine one one. People gonna run up to your house, try to take all your shit, man. Your your house ain't gonna be no good. Your house ain't gonna be your safe haven no more, man. It ain't right now. Even with police around, man. People houses getting broken into left and right now. Yo, know, even with police around, can you imagine what, when police is not around? Shit, it's 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 free fall, man. Right? And their wives ravished again. No, no, nine one one. So wives being ravished, you can't. I can't exactly say that word on this, right? But hey, man, you know, you know what that is. Your wives being ravished, violated. 
Now you have a better idea what, what that is. So this guy sitting up there saying the storm is here. No, the storm, the storm is not. This is this is the storm. Uh, this is like the 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 you know, the beginning of it, man. The beginning of the end, of the end. Right. As time goes on, you because there's so much stuff happening right now. You can't you can't you're not coming back from this. All right, Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse fourteen. It says, "Behold, the plagues are sent, and shall not return again until they until they be uh until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled; it shall not be put out. Will it consume the foundation of the earth? Right. So pretty much, when the Lord sends plagues, when He sends pestilences, earthquakes, and stuff like that, they're not they're not going to return to them void. They're going to they're going to sit. They're going to continue to do their part. See, this is why you got um you got people out there saying, yeah, man." You know, when when COVID goes away, I messed up saying that word, but whatever. When you know when it goes away, uh, you know, and it's like, no, man, you you ain't gonna. We gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta fight it. You can't fight it, man. And this is where 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 people get all mixed up. You can't fight what the Lord sent down, man. You can't fight what the Lord sent here, right? The Lord is the one that's going to send all these plagues that's been here for hundreds of years, right? Even plagues that that are that are heard of. In, in the scriptures, as far as in ancient times, why are they still around? Because the Lord said the Lord sent these to do a job, and it now it is not going to is not going to go away until they until, until it does its job. Right? It says, "Life is an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, returned if not backwards." Yeah. So, so when when an archer, uh, let alone a mighty archer, but when, even when a normal archer shoots an arrow. That bitch don't f don't fly backwards, man. It don't it don't it don't you know do a a, a complete three sixty U turn, and 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 you know reverse back at him, man. It doesn't do that. Let alone a, let alone a mighty archer, a mighty archer. And that's why I said a mighty archer because it's guaranteed a, a strong gust of wind or whatever. And ain't returning. It's not returning. So a mighty archer, a mighty strong archer, shoot an arrow. It's not returning back. Right. It's it's a hundred percent guaranteed that arrow is not coming back. From where for where it shot at, right? It says, even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. What was me? Who, what was me? Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning and, and, and again, like I like I, I like pointing out with that. You know, that's a good question to start asking yourself, man. Who's going to deliver me in those days? See, we already know. Y'all people out there don't know. Y'all looking for y'all looking for. I don't know who the hell y'all looking for these days now, man. You know, half half of y'all, half of you, Jake's looking for your women to save you in those days. You know, I don't know who the hell y'all be looking forward to these days, man. But it definitely, whoever it is, it definitely ain't the Lord Yahweh by Shimei was shot, right? It definitely, ain't, it definitely ain't him. And if it's not, and if it's not the Lord Yahweh by Shimei was shot, it ain't, it ain't nobody. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these when these evils uh, shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Right? But for all these, they shall not they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of scourges, right? Let's talk about you people, man. You so-called black, Latino, and Native American people. Sit up there saying, well, the Bible is this. What, ver what, what, what translation is that? What version is that? What version is that? Let me, man, first off, man, I got to ask y'all, and this is a question that, you know, I keep asking. What is it that y'all believe? And is it and is it saving you, man? What, what, what answer is there? You literally just saw, just this little bit, sorrow to great mornings. Famine and great death, wars and the power shall stand in fear. Do you not see that happening right now, man? When you read, when you read scriptures like, um, when you read scriptures like Matthew twenty-four, or even this one, right? You see all that stuff happening right now, man, and a whole bunch of other scriptures that we could just pull out examples. Let, let, let's go back to our slavery, right? Let's go. Let's go to what's happening today. You know, the, the mindset of our people, the mindset of Esau, what the hell happened to us? You know, Deuteronomy 28, right? Obviously, it's real. I don't know any other book that teaches us that, man. 
Christianity doesn't do it. Christianity doesn't doesn't save you. This truth keeps us out of trouble. So again, man, and you Egyptologists, you 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 black conscious guys, you uh whatever, man, whatever, man, all y'all, man, that ain't what that ain't down with the program, man. What up? What what answer do y'all got, man? The Book of Enoch, the Quran, um, uh, you know, the Book of the Dead. You know, what you got, man? And a lot of y'all say, well, I don't believe in the book. That means you lost, man. You know, that means you lost. So you just believe in only, you believe in yourself, man. And you're in the mindset that y'all in. Look, man, this, this, this flesh is dead. But that's the problem, man. You believe in yourself. Now look at you. Y'all messed up. You got opinions instead of facts. Anyway. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shmuel Shah? Shalom.